Another thing we can do to score a lot more points on our car design and make our car look a little cooler is to add a front window and a back window on this curve. And that's very difficult to do. Um, I've tried in the past just creating a rectangle. Um, but you can see it doesn't actually work uh, because we're on a curved surface. Um, and so the way around that is to first go to View, Hidden Geometry, and we'll be able to see all of the lines that are a part of that curve. Um, and that's going to be really important. All right, to make this work, you're going to need to first copy and paste one of the edges of the curve um, further over onto the car. Um, so when I first tried this over on this side, I'm not sure if you can see that, but each of these line pieces is a separate piece, um, which is good um, in the next step, but first it's better if we have one whole one. So if I start over on this side of the car, uh, you can see this is one continuous curve all the way back to that point, so that's going to help a lot. Uh, so we're going to copy by pressing Control c and then paste by pressing Control v And you see I now have a copy of that curve, and I want to make sure that I hook it up on the edge. Um, how far over you go is kind of up to you. Um, you do need to make sure that you've got enough distance to cover your window being pushed in. Um, so I'm going to go over about that far. Um, and now what that did is that will separate the pieces into two sections. Um, that's important because if I show you what we're going to do here, if I don't do that and I try to scale these, you can see it drops right down through the edge of the car. And we've got all these blue pieces here. And remember, blue is bad. Um, so instead, let me just redo that and put it back. Now, if I grab a couple of these front sections and go to the Scale tool, as I scale, you can see it does not affect that edge of the car. Now, if I go down too far, we might have actually you can start to see that line coming through. If I go even further, you can see that it would still be possible to go too far, um, but it, it kind of helps to prevent that from being a problem. Now, the other thing you notice is that as I move this up and down, even though I only have these three pieces selected, it is affecting the whole top of the car. And it's doing that because it still sees this curve as one piece. Um, so it was good at the beginning that it's one piece, but now over on this section of it, the one that we copied and pasted, we need to break it up into pieces so that when we move these three pieces around, it doesn't move the whole top of the car. And that's really easy to do. You just right click on it and go to Explode Curve. Just like we've done with the 3D text, that's going to break it up into individual pieces. So now if I hold down Control and grab these three parts of the windshield, and I use the scale tool. As I scale them, it's only affecting this front part of the car. Um, when I scale, I like to try to use the center pieces, the center points of the sides. Um, so I'm going to do the center of the top to bring it down a little bit, the center of the front to pull it back a little bit. Um, and you can play around with that. Um, try to make it look a little bit more like a windshield. Uh, but in this case, I'm actually going to use this edge. Um, you do want to be careful not to skew the car like this. That will cause a lot of problems. Um, so maybe avoid the corners as you're doing the scale tool. Um, but it looks like the edges, um, front and top, are better places to grab. Again, if I grab this corner, um, that actually looks like that'll be okay. It doesn't look like it's messing up this left side, but let's just check it. That still looks pretty flat over there. If this doesn't say, stay perfectly flat, we're going to have problems when we try to join the two halves together. Um, so let's do a little bit more here to try to make this look more like a windshield. Back with scale. Let's go down a little bit more. And I just kind of play around with it and see if I can get it to look the way I want it to. Um, the other thing you can do, if moving all three of them or one or two of them is not doing it exactly the way you'd like, um, you could use the Move tool and just grab an individual line. And sometimes you can do a little bit more with that. 
So I'll take this one maybe down a little bit. Maybe pull that one down a little bit. And you could kind of create something that looks a little bit more like a windshield. And more importantly, it's a little bit, m there's more dimension to it. Um, we're going to get a lot more points for having more dimension. So play around with that a little bit. This is not a great one, um, but it at least looks like a windshield. Um, and it's going to get us more points than just having a perfectly smooth front to the car.